Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms and today it is Maypole Farms version 3. Now this is a preview look at version 3 of Maypole Farms by Cavalier Roy. He has uh, sent me this uh, around about the same time as he is sending it off to Giants. He's hoped to get this on through the mod hub and uh, I've already done uh, a full map tour of version 1 and I've been playing on version 2 a few changes uh, but now we've got version 3 and like I say this is uh, what he's hoping to be his final version uh, if he needs to make changes obviously he will I think he would really like to get this onto the mod hub so today I thought we'd just quickly go around and show some of the changes that are going to be coming because the farms aren't as they were before we're going to quickly uh, jump in the Land Rover just because I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with something different again. Uh, this will be a full like map tour like before, I'm not going to drive down every road. I'm just going to head back to what is my main farm for my Let's Play series. I have a Let's Play series on Maypole Farm and we'll take a look at that. But one of the first things that I've noticed is that many of the hedges now are without collision. They used to have collision and uh, as you can see we can uh, pretty much drive through these but I believe there is a reason for that. Uh, many of them previously were all cuttable or were cuttable. They had the uh, little wooden stumps in and I think many still remained with that function. So as we come into our our starting farm, this is the land you start with. I believe you start with the same land because for my save I converted all my lands over. I don't know if that has changed so we'll have a little look at that as well. But there are quite a few changes on the start farm. And we'll also go and have a little look to see if there are some changes on some of the other farms. So we'll just stop here and jump out. I believe here we have a change and because we had the large barns without the auto feeders for the cows they've uh, been changed uh, so now we have the auto feeders on the barns which is nice it's a you know that's expensive kit to get if you ever want to go to that and um, we have a uh, manure pit here now I think before we had a shed I think I had um, I'd originally put my uh, wheel loader and a few tools here and here we had a shed because when I converted my save over my my cultivator was stuck in there which was fun now one of the functions that have come in with this and we're going to look at that as we go around are these lamp posts now they're not just here for shed and light we get our chainsaw out we'll turn it there we go and we can cut these down and they will remove what what it is they're pointing at so that one was for the junk we can take the rest of that out so they're sort of uh, decorative in that sense. Let's get rid of it. I've got my uh, camera angle mod on as well, so uh, every time I cycle through that I'm going to either shrink or grow. Now down here at the other cow meadow, which also has changed, this has now got its uh, manure pit here used to have a silo uh, a clamp here for um, silage and a nice long shed here which had all, all my equipment in uh, so when I converted over I, I've took a screenshot I'll try and pop it in here you'll see the change from what we had if you watch the series you'll know I had a nice long shed here which is gone uh, Cavalier Roy did apologize to me for that but that's absolutely fine it's his map uh, we have a, I believe this is a herbicide 
Oh, it's a fertilizer tank. This is solid fertilizer, I think, in this one. We've got our si uh, silage here, auto feeder here. And again, for this, if I come over, we have another light. And we have one of these on each of the pens, if I can get it to come back out. Shouldn't have put that mod on. Right, so if we cut it, it'll remove the edges and the fences from around the uh, meadows on the animal pens. And the light points at the animal pen that it does it to. So now you've got an open meadow, should you wish. But also now, if we jump in here, construction, demolish, and now sell that. So now this bit of land you can do with as you wish. We can. really make this our own and you can obviously you can sell anything you like which is a nice little touch that allows you to uh, if you wish to place the smaller the older ones here you can or you can have the newer more advanced uh, silos Oh, look at that. We've got a cartridge there. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> Bonus. So also with uh, having to uh, move my machinery on my save, because I had them all over there in the long shed, I've had to move all my machinery into this shed, which was where I had my bales. And bales are now stored in the actual bale shed for me. All these are still sellable, but one thing we were going to check was the land. So starting land is still the same, and they are still all um, grass meadows when you come in. Uh, he did discuss when he was doing his live stream whether he might make one an arable field or give you an extra arable field, but it's obviously uh, kept all grass meadows. And that lamp, like I say, there is one at every every animal pen. You just have to find it. So this one's sort of quite hidden here. Let's cut that down. See that? The whole wall disappeared from around the meadow. Now I believe one thing that he couldn't get to disappear were these gates. So, again, I'm going to have a little look see if we can sell a gate. Unfortunately you can't. But I think this is more of an issue um, with giants because I think there were gate issues on um, Camston Farm. Uh, if I recall rightly Oxygen David said that there were gates issues there and they wouldn't be addressed until giants put out uh, update uh, 1.3 which is on its way. It should be out in the next few weeks giants have said. still have a silo around here. These sheds are the same. Obviously that's the larger self-auto um, feeder. These sheds are the same. Try and hurry around. Just want to try and find where the posts are. Because I know that's something that people may ask is where are the posts for this, that and the other. So we'll try and show them all. Certainly all of them here at the main, what I call the main farm. Again, that's gone, and that'll now give us access, and we shall uh, see what we can delete with this. Now giving us another nice wide open area. You can't... oh yes, you can. Felt with uh, back wall, yeah. You can delete all these as well. 
So you can completely clear out this file, it's all modular. We just want the land at the start again. Here we have a uh, Karma silo. So this is for probably putting in additives for your feed. You can store that in there. Around here again we have the sheep. And I have to try and remember where this one was. It's here. I believe the one that was at the uh, the horses, I think that's what that was over here, horses, was aiming away, but it was for that, it was for that pen. So again, we'll uh, get smaller and smaller every time I do it. <laughs> Shrinking. So if we cut this one right through, and uh, as you can see, all the fence is gone. Now you could, obviously, you can still use this like that. The animals will still wander in the same allotted area. You just won't have the pens. Like I said, unfortunately, for now, the fe the gates are still here. But this is a way that you could merge fields, and there is more to it as we uh, as we get through. I think we'll see that there is more. I think that's the main changes here in farm. There is the chicken as well. Just go have a little look at the chickens. I'll show you where that one is. So the chicken farm, uh, the chicken farm, uh, the chicken uh, pen. We jump the wall. Let's try and make ourselves a bit taller. We're starting to really shrink. Right. It's not everyone wants the chickens. Um, you may want to do someone else with that land anyway, and you couldn't get in there because of the wall. So now you can get rid of that wall. If you still had your silos and stuff like that, you'd have all that here. You could place uh, a fence or a hedge or anything along there through the uh, placeables and constructions. Again, if we go, demolish. Yeah, you have this uh, large area. Do with it as you wish. You might want to build something else. Entirely up to you what you do with your game and your land. And I think that's a big part of what Cavalier Roy was trying to do. Was uh, although this is set out in a specific way with lots of little farms, there is more you can do to customise it yourself now. So I think what we'll do is have a little look because I believe in our garage the start and equipment has changed you now start with the fent vario 315 the massey ferguson 5s which i believe we had anyway i think the the john deere has been swapped out for the fent and you still have the burra but he has also been kind and given you a valtra so uh, something a little bit bigger to work the land with very generous Still have the uh, the class wheel loader. Has given you a large stone picker to start with as well, which is <laughs> really quite generous because uh, stone picking is a chore, or something that I don't enjoy doing, but I do because it's in the game. And repeatedly leasing these build up quite a cost, so to have one for free from the start and the largest one available, uh, very generous. Now, because all the fields do require ploughing from the get go. He has added a subsoiler in at the beginning. He didn't have a, a subsoiler, he didn't have a plough. So now there is a subsoiler for new farmer starts. Uh, he's added a um, seed bin. So uh, because there was none of that, but there was nothing for seeding to start with. And I don't think there is now, but I think this uh, he's added the uh, lime spreader all the fields need lime so you've got that as well but i believe this dablo oh back has the option for seeding so if you want to plow up your field and lime it or subsoil it and lime it you can now replant your grass because this green lime maxi roller will plant um grass as well so there is that that option because there was no seed and no planter 
um, originally. Uh, lower options, I believe they're the same as what they were. I think I sold them and brought something smaller because, you know, I like to make things hard of myself. Tether Windrow is the same, Forage is the same, Baler, Bale Loader, Chainsaw I brought myself, and these attachments are all that were there before. So the big difference is that he's given you a way of digging up the fields and replanting them and managing them with the lime and things like that. So he's, uh, he's been a bit kind there. He's got a lot of equipment, nothing to plant um, grain crops, nothing to do uh, any potatoes or stuff like that. This is mainly focusing on a dairy farm start, so it's all about grazing and uh, cutting your grass, tedding, mowing, all that stuff. So let's just go and take a look at one or two of the other farms to see if uh, anything's changed there. As before, um, when you come in to the game, whether it be on uh, New Farmer, Start From Scratch, Farm Manager, you should see all the production areas, all the cell points, everything like that is already marked up. But the farms don't actually show you what's on the farms. You do have to purchase the land for it to show. But you also, I'm not sure if I've got enough money in, because these fields work with the pens, you need to buy those as well. Hopefully I've got enough money. I think we need that one as well. So now if I come out of there, you'll see all the pens and everything, all the placeables are now showing. And uh, I believe there have been changes. This was not a large feeder cattle barn. So I think they've been probably been added to all the cows. I think probably for convenience. That way you can also get your silage in there a bit easier and stuff like that. It's uh, just made that process maybe a bit more fun for some people. So you put your hay in, your straw in, silage, and then additive in around the side and uh, you'll see your outputs are there. You can still win and feed them the old fashioned way. You do not have to use the uh, the robot. That is entirely up to you. But again, if I go back to whence I was around this side, that's what we had. We had a long one of them on the original farm. It was very nice. <laughs> Now, although I've started at the main start farm, the one you have, this farm, I'll show you, down here, bottom right, this is probably actually my favourite farm. And uh, me and Cavalier Roy were saying the other day that this is, that he also said this is probably his favourite farm. I like this one. I think it's nice. Anywho, I'll just show you here, this has the same functionality. So take out the lamppost, takes out the, uh, the fences around the edge, there we are, again unfortunately the gate is gone, hopefully when 1.3 comes out, either these will disappear with the gate, the fences, or we'll be able to delete these in the um, construction part. Now, I'm not going to go and visit every farm. I'm going to leave that for you guys because there's a lot of farms and a lot of buildings and things will have changed. Like I say, you can go back and look at the old video and compare it to some of this. But there is one more thing I believe I want to show you. That is back here at the store. Now, if I get this correct, if we cut down this post, this should open up roads a lot, or open up the uh, fences and such along the roads. If I'm right, I'm sure that's what that one does. Which ones in particular? Oh no, along the dirt tracks. So if I jump back in the Land Rover, so where we've taken out these fields or the, the, these um, meadow fences and hedges. Just drive through. I think 
not positive, but I think some of the dirt track edges should be gone. Although I'm not sure that all of them will have. Which ones and where, I'm not sure. He just, they look like they're still there, so I may have got that wrong. Now I'm sure Cavalier Roy will get on and uh, sort that out, but or get on in the comment as to what I've got wrong there. If we, uh, these should be cuttable. To get rid of sections of the fence. So you can still do it that way. So if you want to, uh, the minefield still, you can. You can cut around and do as you please. But I want to try and find out what changed because I'm sure fences around dirt tracks and stuff was what was supposed to have gone but we still have fences around these dirt tracks we're going to be a bit naughty and we're going to drive across the land because I know that we can pass through fences now and we used to be able to do that Fences used to have collisions. See, we could just pass straight through. Driving over our grass. I'm going to try and get almost directly to the farm. Or to the shop. Or unless it is that all these bushes have now turned into you can cut them down so they've all got posts in them and I don't think they all had posts in them before so yeah hopefully uh, Cavalier Roy will get on and drop a comment as to what that last um, lamppost did I felt sure that was supposed to take out edges along dirt tracks We still have plenty of hedges along our tracks. But they are some of the changes that I know of that are with version 3. Hopefully we'll see this in the mod hub for those who only like to use mod hub. Mud mud hub. Mod hub. Hopefully you guys will uh, get it there, give it a try. This is a lovely map. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Um, hopefully you guys will too. Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick update tour. I'll try and get this out as soon as I can. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.